Well, here we go on another uh, Memphis drawing from our 200 drawing prompt book. Today we're up to drawing prompt 172. Let's see what we got. Drawing prompt 172 is the abyss, which is uh, a fancy word for the deep ocean. And as part of the deep ocean is the deep water fishes. And we chose to draw the angler fish. And <clears throat> if you want to see how we did it, stay tuned. Because that's what we're going to do today. Well, today's uh, prompt is the abyss. And I find really interesting these these uh, really strange sea creatures that live in the deep ocean. And uh, I think it's kind of funny because th this picture, we're not going to, I'm going to use it as my inspiration, but only for the, really the angle that the fish is in, the three-quarter inch, or the three-quarter angle um, to kind of position on, on my page. Um, my other inspiration for the actual details will, you know, here is the same. I think this is the same species, and you can see it has far fewer teeth. The eyes are way different. The fins are all different. Uh, this first picture, I mean, he's all mouth. He doesn't even have a digestive system. Um, there's another example. You can see how strange and alien these things look. So let's get started. Well, this won't work <clears throat> because it's a profile. I don't want a profile. I want a three-quarter, three-quarter view. You know, I'm seeing his, his, you know, his front and his side. And what I do is I, I use a sandpaper, and whenever uh, I'm going to use the eraser. Any day I'm going to use the eraser. I, I go over it like this and knock off any black that is accumulated. But even if I haven't uh, picked up any pencil with it, I still uh, shine it up a little bit with the sandpaper to get the oxidation off of it. The, I was looking at my video from yesterday and the uh, I noticed this gross injury here on the back of my hand. Um, it's not even it's not even that gross. I just knocked it and got a little scab there, but it looks terrible. Now, what makes this fish look so terrifying is the, the needle-like teeth. So I'm going to change these teeth and make them thinner.
Well, I went to the, uh, I got on my phone and got a few more details to add. I'm going to uh, outline this thing in, in uh, brown and black. These, uh, these fish that are in the deep ocean, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't really developed to be looked at. Uh, you know, it's so dark. So there's no, there's no pressure on them to look any certain way. Little uh, inspiration picture here. You know they've. Uh, you know this is a drawing. This isn't a. Uh, This isn't a uh, photograph, and you know, and they've sort of exaggerated it here um, just to make it an interesting picture. But I'm not going to go that way. You know, like the color is all wrong. Uh, you know, it's kind of brightly colored with the fluorescent greens and blues. But uh, these fish don't have bright colors like that. It would it would be it's a would be a you know a waste of energy to have all this uh, color because nobody can see it it's they're they're down they're born in pitch darkness and they die in pitch darkness Now these fish have, uh, well, not these fish, but all the uh, animals that live in the deep sea. Have a fairly slow metabolism. They have to because The, uh, they're cold-blooded. They do generate some, some heat. But the temperatures in the deep ocean are right at freezing. Putting it in the background, trying to give him some kind of a environment to live in. Now the uh, the Marianas Trench is uh, is. created by the sub subduction of the Pacific Plate, pushing against, I guess, the Marianas uh, Plate. The uh, Pacific Plate is, you know, that's the moving part that's pushing out from the Central Pacific, you know, pushing towards the continental plates. Now in the Pacific, the plates are doing the same thing. They're moving, they're moving east and they're moving west. And when they 
crash into the Eurasian plate, you get uh, And of course, I, uh, I totally adhere to the uh, policy that if uh, some old guy tells you something impossible, that's probably proof that it is possible. So, the fact that I think it's stupid impractical, won't work, might be evidence that the opposite is true. Well, you can't have it both ways, Memphis. Are we going to the moon? Are we going to Mars or not? Well, Can't uh, I can't really honestly say that I think we will. Almost wish I didn't feel that way because that kind of puts me in the uh, old man that thinks. Uh, it is impossible category. And of course, I'm outlining some of the teeth there. I got a cat situation going on now. I open the door and the cats. I got a I got about four feral cats that I feed. I uh, took them in, had them fixed, and they live here at the shop. Well, that does it for a Memphis drawing, uh, drawing prompt 172, the abyss. We chose to uh, draw a an angler fish, which is one of the deep sea fishes. Many, many different families and species of this particular kind of fish, but we got the characteristics of the uh, of the thing I think the inward sloping teeth the bioluminescent uh, lure all right let's uh, 
see what our prompt is for tomorrow. <clears throat> Poker chips. Hope to see you then.